Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. Yes, you found yourself at Deb Chanel's 48th World, where we get down, we talk about whatever we want to talk about, with the reference being um, any type of celebrity we want to talk about that's cutting up in them streets and they putting themselves in social media for ungodly things. I tell you, just ungodly things, just acting all up. And ugly. But you can see Nene was shopping at some convenience store. Maybe she was getting gas around somebody and she thought she'd just get on out the car and go and see what she could snack on. That's my take. But the biggest piece of this story is that Nene has closed a third and I think the final swag boutique store. This one happens to be out of town because the one here in Atlanta. In Lawrenceville, that been 86 x out last year. <coughs> okay, in 2020, she um had said, you know, due to COVID and all of its comings and goings and lack of people spending money and stuff, and, you know, she had the high-end price stuff at her store, which she felt was high-end. And, you know, it wasn't getting a lot of foot traffic because people were being uh, more cautious about being around crowds or being around a uh, closed environment area as far as a shopping boutique. You know, it's kind of, you know, small, not really large. And if you get a, a 10 or more people in there, it tends to be crowded and you can't safely distance yourself from another individual if we're practicing that say, uh, six feet distancing. So, I, you know, I think I read somewhere Nene had put her um, boutique online which is more lucrative and it's more feasible for people to go out there and, you know, because a lot of people just like shopping online, period, whether we had COVID or not, you know, at our mercy that we're um, having to have to deal with for this last two years. But, child, Nene, you better think. Do like Rita said, R-E-S-P-C-T, girl, find out what it means to me. No, we're not, I can't sing, but I'm just doing what I have to do to make this video, girl, okay? And to make it interesting, because if I ain't getting a kiki and a laugh off myself, honey, please, what am I doing here? Okay, but Prince reactions are kind of fair on this particular subject, because we thought... Nene was a rich bitch, you know what I'm saying? We thought she was the head BIC in charge, and all her uh, finances are cool because she cashed them Trump checks, all right? So I wonder where all that is going to and what we got going on. But yes, the stories out there now is saying her store, MGM, out there in the MGM area in uh, Oxville or where she was at, o Oxen Hill, Maryland. And that store don't went belly up. It's empty. Woo, it's just like Casper the Friendly Ghost in there. Ain't nothing there to be seen for far as her merchandise and accessories. Yeah, Prince is kind of giving me a headache too. Seems like I'm always coming on the tube talking about Nene. And it's not in a good way. Like, good Lord, honey. Your husband just died September 1st. And you don't liquidate it as much as you can. And I'm like, good God, you don't slice the mansion house you were living in over in Duluth two separate times and somebody still won't buy it? Girl, maybe you shouldn't have said that, uh, that Greg died in the house. Maybe people are just a little leery of, you know, a soul passing away in the house. You know what I'm saying? Maybe that has something to do with it. I don't know. But I told you last video, if anybody got my video to you, Go see Candy Burris' real estate agent. Because she sure got rid of her house real quick, faster than her. Yeah, we didn't even know it was up for sale. <laughs> That's how clueless we were over here. But it is what it is. And your house is definitely not in comparison of Candy's house. But I just don't know. Maybe it's location. Or Nene, you might need to, you know, try to do in your swag boutique out here uh, in Atlanta. Uh, try to cut them prices, but she still wasn't selling. Cause it to me, it looked like some Forever Twenty One stuff, you know, bargain basement prices. Okay, but that's just not, you know, that's me, you know, looking in, seeing what you're giving me. But child, let's get into this article. Okay, 
We got her from SandraRose.com. Yeah, she got some uh, I think they're my uh some, some ugly uh, boots. They're comfortable because my daughter had a pair. They comfortable, but they ugly as can be. Oh my god, them some ugly shoes. But anyway, um the author of it was Sandra Rose, and she titles her article Nene Leak Swag Boutique. <laughs> Employees still wait for their paycheck. I'm like, well, hold up. Hold up, Nene. Hold up. Wait a minute. Put some little salt in it. Okay, we're going to uh, flavor this up with a little salt here and there. Okay, sprinkle here, sprinkle there. And we just rub it all in the middle and hopefully we get a good taste. But the taste that you leave it in your ex employee's mouth. Okay, it's nasty, Nene. It's nasty. And I'm like, girl, don't let these folks have to come do a lawsuit on you. You, I mean, you ain't even giving them a chance to even say or hint at that they were, the store was being closed. So the last day they worked, they didn't even know that was their last day. Say it ain't so. Say it ain't so, Nene. I put you on a little higher standard than to be getting ready on employees that really depended on the job. Uh, that you had given them you know you didn't give a nice farewell dinner or something to these people you just left them high and dry that's what the streets are saying and i hope something comes from this totally different than what was put out to us because a lot of the bloggers out here are testifying that you don't have your show no i mean your stone on most swag in oxen hill maryland which is Baltimore, Maryland, somewhere around there with that little guy. And I got his picture on here, y'all. So y'all look at it. It says MGM. There you go, right there. That's the guy she's supposed to be messing with. But as we can tell, <laughs> she ain't got no stone down no more. Okay? She ain't got no stone no more. So let's get into this article and see what they got to tell us about that. Because I didn't read it. I wanted to call my family over here and get up in these seats, these sofas, these chairs. And let's dissect this situation okay because it needs some dissecting because it ain't looking good for nene ever since poor greg died well i should say bless greg died because he's better off in the presence of the lord and absent for his terrible body that um kept him in just total um agony and pain so that was a good thing for greg woe on us down here that are still living in this plane of existence but um it says Nene Leakes reportedly sh- uh, shuttered her last remaining swag boutique and didn't inform her employees who are still waiting for their paychecks, according to sources. Now, I'm like, Nene, that ain't right. That ain't how Trump did his people when he fired them. You know, he left some room for them to draw unemployment, depending on how they went out the door. Was it willingly or was it uh, consensual? Was it uh, reciprocated on both sides? That we were leaving because the store was closing down? Did you do that for your people? Tell me it ain't so that you just sign on a dollar line to get yourself out that lease of a building that you were in. And you just didn't want to pay your employees? Are you going to buy a bankrupt next? Because that's what, I, that's what it looking like, Nene. That's what it looking like to me, girl. Because you got cold hard cash. You going to rent you another mansion in Georgia if you want to. Okay, you can just go rent, or you can go somewhere where the land is not cheap. I mean, let the land is cheap. Go out there, build you something else, cause you gonna have the money for your house sale. But I don't know if it's gonna be what you think it's gonna be, cause you had to sla- slash them prices twice. So it seems like you need to come into the hundred thousands instead of trying to sell your house for a million or so because evidently you're just not getting it i hope you get it i really do but it don't seem like it's going that it's not faring well with you okay but um going back to the article it says nini uh employees and managers showed up to the swag boutique at the mgm casino in oxen oxen hill maryland only to find that the doors padlocked and the space empty oh my god you know that that ain't right nini that ain't right Girl, that ain't right. Now, how the folk going to get their belongings that they probably left, their personal belongings? How you going to do And then you're going to leave them around the holidays with no check. Girl, and no unemployment availabilities. Nene, did you invest in that? Did you invest in them people's, um, what do you call it, uh, unemployment insurance, girl? 
tell me it ain't so. Because I could just imagine what's going to happen to that lounge. Because I know your son ain't got no money. Because he working for you. And if you ain't, you know, got no job, which you don't have at the time, how you going to make revenue be repeating revenue? You see what I'm saying? We need some to be gaining interest somewhere. But that ain't none of my business. But as long as about a, but as long as it's being kept quiet, I'm going to scream it to the rooftops. Because it ain't right, Nene. It ain't right. I ain't saying this your karma or whatever. But you did a lot of folk nasty. As you were climbing that ladder of success. And then you had to come uh, down some few feet. And the people that you had to pass going away, going uh, on your way going up, you kind of stopped on them. Now you got to look at them same folks as you come down that ladder that you once went up several years ago. You got to come back and see these folks, okay? You you don't think they're going to read you for Phil? Child, you got look, another thing coming. They can spare a little bit on you, but nine times out of ten, them folks want their money, Nene. And they dragging you all on social media. So, I mean, did your team leave you? Did your team leave you? To fend for yourself and to have to answer all these personal questions about your financial portfolio and why did you leave these people out of a job without even telling them? That's some cold-hearted stuff right there, Nene. That's cold-hearted. But anyway, going back to the article, it said one of Nene's former employees is being evicted from her apartment. In an email to SandraRose.com. See what I'm saying? Ain't nobody lawyer, boy. Ain't nobody lawyer. They couldn't wait. Your employees, your past employee, couldn't wait to sell you out to the social media world. And this dirt, this dirt, how far it goes or how deep it spreads. Your folks are telling the story on you, Nene. Is it truth in that or is it all false? We want to hear from you. Okay, but going back to the article. It says uh, one of Nene's former employees reached out to SandraRose.com. She said Nene never informed her of any of the other employees that she was planning to close the store. We can't even get unemployment because Nene is refusing to answer and return the phone calls from the unemployment office. The former employee wrote. You see what I'm saying, Nene? Girl. Ah, now you're going to have a tax man out for you, child. I'm hoping, so very hoping that you pay taxes for your employees to receive unemployment benefits. Come on, Nene. That's the whole thing of taking accountability. Girl. All right, this is little girl behavior right here. This ain't grown woman solidified behavior this little person behavior they don't know no better we got to teach them as they grow into their grownhood you see what i'm saying or their adulthood but what can we do with nanny hash down there <sighs> got too many years behind her just a few in front of her and she ain't doing right still this is not a way to uh, set an example for people who look up to you nanny Woo! But going back to the uh, uh, article, it says she is trifling and is really a fake individual who cares about no one but herself. She used us and spit on us. Well, she used us and spit us out like we were trash and gives two Fs about our livelihood. Girl, this employee is mad because she dropping tea where it don't need to be. You see what I'm saying, guys? Mm. It says Nene closed downtown. Wait a minute. Nene closed downtown her bookhead and the loose stores last year due to the p- pandemic. Now, y'all know it. Y'all told y'all that, okay? Early on in this article. She also shut down her Sugarloaf Mills located in Lawrenceville, Georgia. Okay, I didn't know Nene had two of them. Wait a minute, three of them. Shoot, well, that's four of them. If, you, if she closed down the bookhead one. She cut, cl- uh, closed down the Duluth one. And she, the one that's out in Tanger Outlet, which is kind of far. It's about an hour drive away from where I stay. Um, yeah, she just going around here. Okay, it says, and one store in Florida. Damn, how many um, chain any had of that swag? I know she like to go to Florida or Miami where they do it better, they say. Uh, but 
Good Lord, Nene. You kind of like these big franchises. You cutting corners and cutting your employees. But at least some folks knew about they was going to not have a job. At least two or three weeks notice or maybe two or three months. But you didn't show up and show out. You just did some negative showing out, Nene. Okay, back to the article. It says the 53-year-old Sagittarius still managed the Lanethia restaurant and lounge in Duluth, Georgia. Calls to the Lanethia lounge for comment were not returned. See what I'm saying? Girl, that's why I say how things are going for her and all the back stories we don't know about her. She might really be hurting for somebody. And if she has a team or a legal team at the most, maybe they're telling her you just need to, you know, if you really want an, another fresh start, you know, after the comes and goings, after your husband dying, you're having a hard time selling the house because it's not going this way you pictured it. And it's a beautiful house and a gated community. Yeah, 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 yeah. However, it's not bringing in anything. So... We need to know what we can get rid of so you can still make this monstrosity payments on this house. Okay. So I wouldn't, I really wouldn't believe or I should say I would, it wouldn't surprise me if Nene lost the Lanethia as well. And you know, hey, you can get a fresh start. Everybody, I ain't going to say everybody, but it's out there for any and everybody to go bankrupt. And it may be beneficial for her to do it that way. So, I don't know if she did go bankrupt, but it'll be public record. And child, mm -hmm. oh child, unless Nene found a nice judge that wouldn't allow um, it to be seen by the public. Where bloggers can go and get that information and put it and make a storyline out of it. Uh, not a good thing to do, but uh, a lot of the top bloggers actually do that and pay for interviews as well i don't have any plans to try to do that unless somebody wanted to come do it and they'll be doing it for free because i ain't paying nobody for no kind of story where you know people are trying to fake it till they make it and i think nene was doing a lot of that but you know she was holding her own for for, for how long she could but now everything seems like it is just tumbling down on poor baby girl but like I said, is this your karma for trying to be really mean and nasty to people that only admire you when you're out there in the public? And I don't know, just want a little piece of you uh, for a, a memorabilia sake. A little photo here, a little selfie there, a little autography here, you know, a little hug there or a bounce with the fist um, instead of the hug due to COVID, of course. But Lord child, I was like, ooh, we need nay. Girl, the hits just keep on coming. But stay prayed up, Nene. Trouble and, and, and distress don't and pain don't last for always, honey. Don't last for always. I'm sure you're gonna get that mansion soul. It's not gonna be your asking price. So don't be discouraged about that. Take whatever you can. Cause we damn sure don't want to see you uh, eating out of the uh, convenience store because everything's cheap, you know. So, ooh, that's all I had for this video. Wanted to get it out for you all to hear y'all uh, peace of mind on this storyline of Nene possibly uh, closing down her last and final Swags Boutique store. And she didn't let the employees she was employing... Uh, give them any kind of warning or any kind of statements that she was you know gonna shut down the sweat boutique instead of it's just like ooh, y'all go get all my stuff out of sweat boutique or y'all go get y'all stuff that i was renting from y'all um from sweat boutique before the employees come in because i showed y'all a picture it was ass empty up in that mug, okay? And I'm surprised they let the displays stands or risers stay. Why they didn't get that? But well, maybe it was a part of the store to begin with. <laughs> you know, not for Nene's sake. But honey, like I said, the, the stores here in Atlanta, they closed. 
so it will it would be to my imagination or it would be to my trained thinking or, or on the line thinking I, she might get rid of the one in florida too because i really don't see nene staying in atlanta that is my uh just opinion just me knowing how hurt she was uh by losing her uh, husband of, of course and then with her uh not being able to uh be back on the real housewives of atlanta to provide more income her way to keep her in the lap of luxury she has afforded herself to be a part of for some years so ooh, child i tell you it's scandalous out in these streets child with all this busting news but that's all i have for this video like it love it gotta have more don't forget to hit that notification bell, bell uh, notification bell button and subscribe to the channel and share my share my videos y'all share 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 okay and like them as well and i'll see you <coughs> excuse me and i'll see y'all next video Bye bye